Oh, no. That was deep. That was really deep. Hello everybody and welcome to Simulate Gaming and welcome to a first here on the channel. This is Spin Tires Mod Runner and this is the first modded map that we've got our grubby little hands on. So this I believe is coming to the Mod Hub as soon as the game devs allow for modded maps on the actual games workshop. Not Mod Hub, sorry, the workshop I meant, sorry. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's very, very soon. So we're going to quickly go ahead and... Uh, Select some options here on this truck. So this is a modded truck on a modded map. Most of the things we're using today are actually mods. Uh, where's the garage trailer? That's... Oh, there we go. Four garage points. So obviously our first job today is going to be to unlock the garage. We also have the Neva there right next to us. Just a little uh, white pickup there. We've also got the Mitsubishi little uh, Japanese pickup truck there. And over on that side we have the new Holland wheel loader. Now the reason we have only one truck is because this truck does everything. And it's a little bit overpowered. So to sort of make up for the uh, balance points, we had to get ourselves some uh, tiny little truck vans, 4x4 things, whatever you want to call them. And the wheel loader is basically there just to help us if we get stuck. Um, well, we'll try and use the Neva. I really do like the Neva. We'll get into that in a different video. Um, of course, you can unlock other vehicles on this map as well. But uh, we're going to try and stick with this one for now. So I cannot find, for the life of me, find out how to... Um... Do we get actually? Do we install everything? I think we did. What am I doing? That's the wrong mouse. Um... Okay, that's trailers. Okay, we're just going to leave it like we are right there. Now, I am using manual as well. So, as you can see, if... Uh, oh, actually, I'm using manual and a clutch. If I quickly put it into first like it is now and then rev, nothing happens. Let go of the clutch, and we're away. So, we are using completely manual today. Now, we do have to unlock cloaking device, or the called flags in this one. Um, oh, I did messed up already. Good start, simulate. So they're all on the road, I think, from what I've seen so far. I did have a quick little drive round in the Neva earlier on, just to see if I like the map. And it... Good looking map. So, um... First of all, we need to go and refill, which is just up here, luckily. Now, like I said, there is other... Uh, other vehicles on this map for us to download. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't get the camera working with the, uh, the side panel, so... I have to use the mouse with my left hand, even though I'm not left-handed. So it's a little bit awkward. But hopefully it'll work out fine. So to look around, I have to do this, which is a, yeah, a little bit awkward to, for me to do. So I'll quickly fill up. Now there is a little jerry can on board as well that we have to fill up. Let's go ahead and stop this here. Get the handbrake on, which refills us. Oh, I keep reaching for the proper mouse because I'm so used to the mouse being in my right hand. And uh, I believe we're now done. So let's go ahead and whack her into reverse. And get the parking brake. Oh, what one's the parking brake? There we go, that one. So yeah, we get this off. And, actually, maybe I did map out. No, I didn't. Okay, I did see if I could find it, and I couldn't. So, like I said, we'll have to stick with the mouse. So, reverse out of here, and we'll finally begin the video. All right, let's get this around this corner. So, this is a mod. All the vehicles we've chosen for starting with are mods. So, this is the Kraz something or other. Can't actually remember the mod number. I'll put it in the description box, though. In fact, it's on the mod tub, if you want it. Just not mod tub? I keep saying mod tub. I play a lot of farming simulator. So whenever I talk about mods, you may hear me say uh, mod tub by accident. What I mean is Steam Workshop. So apologies for that. Let's go down this way here. And are we doing all right? Yes. Power! I think my uh, accelerator is mapped out a bit wrong. I keep saying that, even though I am completely letting go of it when we go around the corner. Oh, yeah, that's more like it. Right, let's go ahead and get our diff locks and stuff on like that. And now we are making some progress. So like, like I said at the beginning, I think I said at the beginning, we have to collect all the flags that reveal the map, but they're all on the road, I believe, from what I saw earlier. So we shouldn't have any issues with that. Let's quickly get some uh, external views here. Like I said, this is a beautiful map. The model through this has done a really, really good job. Now, I believe this actually is a convert from the original spin tires, but that's absolutely fine because they've done it really well. It's got all the proper points in. Now, I think we're going to go left here. Let's just get the camera around like that. Ooh, don't hit that tree! How far are we off from that tree? Engine stalling. Really? You can't pull off and get... Look how much thing, torque this thing's got. Okay, we just took the tree down. That's fine. Now, I just realised something, actually. I'm going to have to put it into neutral. Put the uh, handbrake on here because we did not map out the actual garage. So we want to go to all the way down to this bottom corner down here. Garage. Um, there's also a watch point along the way, so we'll hopefully get this watch point along the way. It looks like it may be right up ahead, and then hopefully there'll be a road that comes down here somewhere. Um, that's going to be probably up to the end of the video. It's quite a large map. It's a lot bigger than the... Uh, well, it feels a lot bigger 
than the uh, the vanilla ones, the in-game ones. But um, I could be wrong there. It might be the same size. Gear three. I just want to move this camera out a little bit so you guys can see it better. It's quite a big truck. As you can see, it is 8x8. All wheels are driven, which is cool. But it also does everything. That's why I said this truck's a little bit overpowered, because you can use it for logging. You can use it for garage points, like we're doing now. You can use it for recovery. Uh, you can have huge trailers on the back. So technically, we could have took... Oh, no. What happened then? I think it was in a too high of a gear. So you can technically take eight garage points for this thing, because you can put the garage trailer on the back as well. But we've only got one garage on this map, which uh, doesn't make too much sense, because they're up near, like next to each other. But uh, we'll, we'll have to live with it for now. But this thing just goes over with no issues. Now, like I said, I had had a quick go on this map before I started playing, just in case it was terrible. And like I said, I really, really do like it. However, well, one turn, let's go down to gear two. I keep getting damaged here. I'm not very good at taking my foot off the accelerator. Surprisingly, I do drive a manual car in real life. It's just very different when you're, you can't feel the clutch or anything. Right, over here. Can I move that camera up a little bit? Looks like that's it. Oh, we got a bridge. We got a bridge. Let's quickly flip around to the front camera here so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to go down into gear one so we don't stall on the bridge. Uh, oh, this thing's wobbly. You guys see the bridge then? Come on, over we go. And uh, looks like we are now free. So it's not ideal my mapping here. I on honestly prefer playing this with an Xbox controller. However, that's not very interesting for you guys to watch. Just some guy sat here playing it with Xbox controller. So I do want to use the wheel just for the videos. Down to gear two here. In fact, what we can do is when we reach a junction, we'll have to see where exactly where we are on the map because I have no idea whatsoever. Right, we have uh, another bridge. Is this a bridge coming up? Yes, it is. Now, however, let's make sure we actually have to go over this first of all. So we'll put her into neutral. We'll put the handbrake on once we check that we're going the right way. And it looks like it's actually the only way we can go. I keep trying to reach for the mouse again. Oh, hang on a minute. We went the wrong way already. This is what I mean. This map is uh, quite big. This rock doesn't really stand out, but you can see it here. So we have to go back to the bridge. And then there's a turning just past the bridge, which takes us all the way down past here to the garage. Let's get this thing turned around. I knew I'd do this at some point. All right, let's go ahead and put that into reverse. Handbrake off, or parking brake off, sorry. Now, where can I turn around? That is the question. Um, dang it. Where are we going to go? I don't want to reverse across the whole bridge. That would be a little bit awkward. I need to find somewhere where I can just wing her around. Mind you, we're always at the bridge. What I'm going to do is... Okay, here's a good spot. If it will let us, we'll turn around here. Hopefully we don't crash and get damaged. That seems to be okay. Just drive over it like the rocks aren't even there. Right, back into first. Select this camera. We're going over the bridge again, so we need to make sure that uh, we're uh, okay. So yeah, like I said, I do prefer playing this with an Xbox controller, but I just don't think that's going to make very good videos for you guys to watch. Just seeing some guy playing with an Xbox controller. Is that the road? Okay, this is the road. It doesn't look like a road. As you can see, this is why we missed it. I'm actually going to have to uh, reverse here a little bit, but I missed it again. In fact, let's try some first person. Let's try some first person here. Yeah, it, this is not very ideal with my controls, I guess. It's the camera. I can't seem to get the camera in a good way with the, uh, with the wheel. What I wanted to do is be able to control the camera with this little joystick here. But that's not possible, unfortunately. Well, yet, anyway. Go, turn. Turn. And we're over. So I'm going to stick in first person for a minute. Just so you guys can have some first person view here. No, the gear 2 is not good enough. This thing's very unpredictable compared to the bigger trucks that you get in the base game. It's like the gears, what you did, like, judging by the engine noise now, what the RPMs are doing, it's almost as if it wants us to shift up. But then if we shift up, engine stalling, see? So it's a little bit weird. It does take some while to get used to. Now, this is very, very bumpy along here. Hopefully, we can get through this. Oh. 
I'm wondering if my clutch isn't mapped out properly. I don't think I've got the full, uh... Not clutch, sorry, the accelerator. I don't think I've got the full range of my accelerator. Right, let's quickly flip around to this so we can see what we're doing here. Oh, is this a bridge? No way. No way. Now, I want to get there before night time. I do not like recording videos at night time. Over here. Oh, we've lost her. Come on, up you get. Come on, up, 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 up. Yes, power. No, this is, the camera controls are awful. Get up on that bridge. No, I don't want to risk it. We're reversing. And we're going to go back to first person here. How could we mess up this badly? I'm not actually this bad at spin tires, guys. i got to admit, I'm not actually this bad usually. It's just, like I said, I like using the Xbox controller. These controls are not ideal for the camera. So if anybody knows how to map out to camera controls... Not the camera controls. i got the camera controls mapped out. It's just the actual axis of the camera I can't seem to map out. Along here. Okay, we're back on track. I'm going to have to take it a little bit slower here. Stay up on the road. This thing does not want to stay on the road. But as you can see, it also doesn't care if it does go off. It just crawls itself back on again. That's where the 8x8 eight is coming into play. Right, let's do some uh, first person again here. So you can't actually see the road. I'm beginning to think if I've gone the wrong way. However, this is a route we can take. Maybe there's a longer way which is a bit more easier. But we don't want it easy. We want to get that quick before night 4. It looks like night 4 is not far away actually. However, we are only 236 meters away from the garage. So we are getting there pretty, pretty soon by the look of it. Although it appears we ran out of road. Where do we go from here? Do we have to go through the river? Let me just quickly put us into neutral and have a look. Hmm. Looks like we have to cross the river. The bridge is gone. So I'm actually going to do this in this camera view here. Diff lock's on. Four wheel, or all wheel drive's on. Let's cross. I want to go this side of the bridge. I didn't even change gear then. What are you talking about? Maybe it's the clutch that's not working properly. We should get through. There's no issues though. Right, up you get. Up the other side. Come on. Power! And... We're over. Down into gear two. I don't remember coming this way in the Neva earlier. I'm going to be honest. I don't remember coming this way in the Neva. So I'm thinking I did go the wrong way at some point. Like I said, this is a new map. I'm not used to this one just yet. And the RPMs really want us to go up to gear three. But if we go up to gear three, we're just going to stall. Ready? Watch this. See? This doesn't like it at all. Really strange. I'm not off-roader in real life, so I don't really know what's going on. I can see the bridge up ahead. That's where I went over last time. So it looks like when I was in the Neva, I must have gone the long way. This looks like we've taken a shortcut. Short in quotation marks because it's a little bit complicated. Come on, don't crash into that truck. Oh, that was real life. Our mirror would have gone off then. All right, up. Up you get. Come on. Quickly flip around to the front camera here. I don't want to change down into gear two because I know it's going to end up stalling at some point. Come on. Chris. So if you do play this map, I do not recommend using something low powered for this route here. I mean, we haven't even got... Imagine if we had a trailer on, we'd be really struggling at this point. Luckily, we're using the uh, the rigid body for this. Right across here. Oh, there's another flag up ahead. We did come the right way after all. There's another flag. So maybe we did come this way. Maybe because we... Where you don't even want gear two anymore? Down to gear two. Yes. Come on. Through the little river here. Oh, this road's not the best. I'm trying to concentrate and talk at the same time. Oh, hang on. Are we meant to be going... Handbrake on. Are we meant to be going left here? Yes, we are. So apparently, if we go this way... There's a, there's a bridge right over here. But hopefully, it is this one. 
Okay, it's not very great at turning. Now, I do know why that is. I'm just afraid to turn the diff locks off. So we're going to reverse up a little bit here. There we go. We'll turn it diffs off. Get that into first. Now, hopefully the turning's going to be a little bit better with the diffs off. Come on. Turn! Why does all-wheel drive come off? I didn't turn. Okay. The all-wheel drive came off for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Are we doing this? Yes. Oh, this is... Camera control's awful. Do you know what? I might, for the next video, if I do one, just keep the Xbox controller on my lap for the camera. That might be the better solution. And just, like, look around with the Xbox controller. I think that's what we're going to do, actually. So next video, hopefully, will be a little bit better. I'm still getting used to all the camera controls and stuff. But as we go, we'll plop ourselves across the bridge. And we have arrived at the garage. Hong's up, but that's only been 16 minutes it took us to get here. Not too bad. So we do have time for another task. Let's quickly unlock this garage, first of all. And we are now here, down into neutral. Handbrake on. We'll unload the garage points. And there is our garage. Now we can go ahead and start doing some logging. So, the bad thing about this map is there is so many... Uh, lumber mill. So we got one here. Luckily, it's really, really close to the... Uh... Oh, this is a... Okay, I thought this is where you pick up the logs. We have to deliver them here. So that's 16 already just in this corner here. And then we got more up here. Um... Oh, that's, that's the starting point. So there's one up here as well. One up here as well. One up here as well. I believe there's some down here as well. Okay, so this is where you get the logs. This corner here. And then we got two... Three, four, five log delivery points. So it's going to take a long time to complete this map. This is why I said it's probably going to not be done in this video. But what we're going to do is... Hmm. What shall we do? Now, these are on the road. So I'm tempted to get the Neva and go unlock these. However, if they're on the road, we just will drive. This is Once again, this is our only truck. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to get the, uh, the log trailer on. This is our only garage, don't forget. So once they're done, they're done. Uh, so you need eight per yard. So if we can manage to get eight logs per drop-off, we'll be laughing. So that's short log. Let's say three. Okay, everybody. So what we've done is we've gone for the medium log body for the truck. And now we're also going to be a bit stupid. We're going to get the big log trailer. So this is some setup we've got here. But I am hoping that it will work. Because this truck, like I said at the beginning, is a bit overpowered, I will admit. So hopefully it can pull this thing in no issues. However... I think it's safe to say that the road we just went down is now off bounds because there's no way we're getting this trailer down there without tipping over. Um, this is part of the trailer pack available from Steam Workshop, so it's pretty cool. Um, I could have actually plugged in my Xbox controller during that little jump cut, but um, never mind. Let's go ahead and get her into first. We'll get the diff locks turned on again. Now, hopefully we can get over this bridge. I'm a bit worried that this is actually a little bit too long for what we have, so we're probably not going to get very far, and it's the only truck we've got, so... We could screw ourselves over a little bit here. Right down into gear two. Up we get. So let's go ahead and flick round to. Um, uh, I think I made a huge mistake here, guys. I'm not gonna lie. But is it on dolly trade? Is it on dolly? I think it's on a dolly. So we might be okay. No, I need to. Nope. Gear two. I keep forgetting we're in manual. So I'm not going to lie, when I'm playing this that's what's controller, I don't, obviously don't use manual because it makes no sense. So I tend to use automatic, so sometimes I will forget. Now if it is on a dolly, we should be able to do this okay. So, that little tree in front of us is about to get knocked down because I am stopping for it. There we go. Up we get onto the road. Make sure we got our diff stuff on. Yes we do. So it's coming. The trailer has followed us. So where do we go and fill these up, actually? We need to go to the other corner, which is, I believe, down... Oh, we can do this one manually. So these little log kiosks, that's why we got the New Holland. And um, I think this map wants you to use them. But for the first lot, we're just going to go ahead and plop our waypoint there. Now, of course, you can plot more waypoints if you want, if you want to do a proper route. But as we haven't unlocked all of the watch points just yet, we're just going to go ahead and roughly type that in there so we know what vague direction we're going in. 
which is that way. So we need to slowly make our way to the right. Now. Oh, that's how I turn the lights on. I knew I mapped out a light button somewhere. Let's go down. Oh, is this the main road up ahead? I think we've got our first main road. Yes, we do. Okay. So let's come this way. I'm going to quickly go down into third person again to make sure we make it around this corner. Actually, what we can do now that we've got a trailer on the back is we can now go to the trailer camera as well. Look at that. Good stuff. Let me zoom out a little bit. So there is the kiosk, I believe. Oh, no, is that a delivery point? Wait, can we fill up here? No. No, we can't. This is a drop-off point. They've already got loads of logs. Why do they need more? But it is getting night time, so I don't know if I'm going to skip night, because I don't think night time is going to make very good video footage. Um, tell you what. We'll stick on it for a little bit. Where does that go? Okay, that just goes down to a block den by the look of it. We're going to follow the road. I'm hoping the road takes us vaguely in that direction. We c oh. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Right, let's quickly whack it down into first. It looks like we're going this way. No idea where it goes. But we'll have to find out. So as we jump into the forest, into the unknown, I've never been in this area before. So we've got a huge trailer on. It's night time. I have no idea where I'm going. The map's not completely unlocked just yet. So this could end up horrifically bad. Actually, it might just be a big loop that goes around to where we just came from. So there's the kiosk. Hmm. Do we load this up manually? That is the question. We could do that. We could bring the new Holland over here. Um, let's quickly look at the map. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to skip night time. Because we don't want it. Skip night. There we go. So it's now daytime. I forgot we could do this on single player. So it's now daytime. Um, let's go ahead. Where are we? I am not going to be able to turn around here. If we go back the way we came, that is going to be a pain. Okay, everybody, so you now can see that we are now in the Neva. Um, the reason for that is because I feel that we need to... Um, let's actually get the winch on here. We'll get the off-road kit, the trunk for some repair points, and the fuel, I believe that is. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get into the Neva, and we're going to unlock the rest of these points, because there is no way I know where I'm going with that huge truck without uh, unlocking the rest of the map. So let's go ahead and turn our off our uh, waypoint off so we need to go to that one first this one looks like it's pretty easy to get to to be fair and then we need to go up to there somewhere and then there's only three left basically so we'll go with the first one here and then that will probably be this video done and i'll do the rest off camera for us um let's get the neva started up so yeah i really really do like this thing i'm a massive fan of this little neva a lot of detail there's only one bad thing about this neva and i'll show you guys now if I go to the in, uh, let's go down to gear two. If I go down to the interior, the steering wheel doesn't move. That's the only thing that's wrong with this mod. Well, apart from the fact that it just crashed. So um, hopefully in the future update he'll get this working. But for now it will do. I use it this mainly in uh, mainly in third person anyway, so I can see all the beautiful. Hang on, let's get these on. There we go. Now we've got some power. So it's slipping a little bit, but we seem to be okay now. And uh, we'll start progressing through here. So this Neva should make short work of this. It's a lot smaller than the truck, a lot faster than the truck. So I'm hoping it's not going to take us too long to get there. Now Landy Kid, if you guys know Landy Kid, if you're one of my usual subscribers, he hates this thing. I love it. I think it's got a lot of character. Right, let's go around this way. Probably going to need to drop it down into gear two. Up into third. Ooh. Hit the turbo then, I think. I think this thing is turboed. Because there's like a little bit of a dull point when you accelerate and then it just goes boom. Which I thought was the clutch at first, but now I'm in manual. I'm not completely sure. Come on, get some grip, Neva. So here's a little fact about the Neva. I looked at this because I didn't actually know what it was. It's a strange looking thing and I had no idea what exactly it was. Apparently this was built by Lada. So the Russian brand Lada, which you guys have, would have seen even if you don't know what it is. Um, it's the same as that, basically. Um... The big square thing that was in James Bond, and you see him like all Russian games and stuff. Or games based in Russia, sorry. And Russian TV show. You, you know what I mean. There's basically that, but this is their 4x4 version of it by the look of it. So we're doing this in gear 3. I could probably go up to 4, but I don't want to risk it. In fact, let's go down into gear 2 here. 
and uh, take us quite slow over this bridge. Uh, not the parking brake, diff locks. I feel like this handles a lot better without the diff locks. Now, there's going to be people that shout at me in the comment section because you're not meant to turn corners and stuff with diff locks on, but um, I keep forgetting to do that. Down to gear three. So on this dry bit here, I don't think we actually need diff locks. If we get stuck, we'll whack them on again. I am, however, going to leave 4x4 on, or all-wheel drive even, which is 4x4 on this particular this particular thing. Right, where are we going here? Where are we at the moment? So we are currently on a bridge somewhere. Okay, so we need to cross the bridge and then start turning left. Come on. Did it a little bit too quick then. Right, down we go. Make sure we don't come off. So that's... I don't like using... The interior is fantastic on this truck. Don't get me wrong, this Jeep. If I just show you the interior, really, really nice. However, like I said, there's no... There's no movable steering wheel, so it sort of ruins the immersion a little bit. In fact, it puts me off a little bit. Because I feel like we're not turning, even though we are. Oh, come on. Don't be so fussy. You're a Russian. You should be able to handle it. Maybe that's why my clutch went on my car. Maybe I do it... Maybe I'm a little bit too quick with the... Uh, with the clutch. Or need some diff locks here. It's getting a little bit bumpy. I don't want to risk getting stuck. We're making some good progress though. I'll actually zoom the camera out a little bit here so you guys can see a little bit more of what's going on. Oh, there's a flag up ahead. So here's our first flag. Do you know what? That didn't take very long at all. I think we'll push on to the next one. I'm not going to shift up the gear too yet. The engine is screaming at me, but we are now in a bog, so... I'm going to leave it on. In fact, we might need to go into gear one. Diff lock's on. All-wheel drive is on. Let's see if we can get through here. Come on. Come on, Neva. Come on. Right, there's another flag. There's a vehicle up ahead as well, which... Did we just collect the, the vehicle? I think we may have. All right, what I'm going to do is shift down into gear one, but we're going to not give it full throttle. We're going to take the accelerator nice and slow. So we're basically slowly crawling over all this water. Now... This isn't just me being a bad driver. The Neva's not the best off-road vehicle, I will admit. It's not the best off-road vehicle, but it really does suit the game, and uh, it's a bit more of a challenge. If it was too easy, then there'd be no point in playing. You can just go play GTA or something. But because this isn't the best off-road vehicle, you do have to think about it. Looks like we've got a truck stuck there as well. So that's going to be interesting to get that out if we need it. Come on, Neva. Whoa, what's that truck? We didn't even hit the truck then. Why did it move? I'm always away from it. Come on, Neva. I can't really go much slower. We'll store. Right, we're nearly at the uh, the center point here, and then there's another bog. Fantastic. Ooh. We're going to be stuck. We're going to be stuck. No, we're okay, actually. Oh, no. That was deep. That was really deep. Come on. She's slowly making progress, but she is she doesn't really like it very much, the water. She's fine with everything except from water, I've noticed, this little Neva. I think it's doing better than the Mitsubishi would have, though. So I think we made a good choice choosing this. We also do have some repair points and some fuel on board as well, should we need it. Although the fuel is going down really, really slowly, so I don't think we're going to need that. And we're free. So now we can switch up to gear 2 again, I think. There we go. Maybe we could have done that in gear 2, actually. Right, so where is... Let's put it on neutral. Where is our next... Waypoint, so we're there. It looks like it's just up ahead here, and then we'll be at the lumber mill, and then we can start plotting our route out to lumber mill. Like I said, I'm not going to do the lumber mill in this video, um, because I think we're getting we're already on 31 minutes here. That's before I edit it, so we're probably about 25 realistically. We're down to gear two again. Oh, points, bouncy, bouncy. Yes. Right, so across this... Oh, no. This looks a little bit deeper than the bog we just went through. Right, come on, little Neva. Down into gear one. We can do this. Is this what... No, this is what we crossed earlier. Come on, Neva. The current's taking us. The current is actually taking us. I'm trying to... You can't tell, but the force feedback is fighting me a little bit. There we go. We're over. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad at all. Quickly check the interior. Right, there we go. We'll zoom out. So that... What is that down there? In fact, let's have a look see where we are. 
So we can go straight forward. That doesn't really take us anywhere. We need to go right, ideally. Um, that's easier said than done, because there's nothing there but trees. Right, well, we're going to go this way. Hopefully there's a, uh, a turning down here at some point. Oh, well, maybe we actually have to go off-roading. That could be an option. That isn't the road, surely. No, it's not. Okay, we're good. So I'm looking for a road. I'll switch up to gear two here. Come on. Do I really want gear three? No, because we've about to hit some bumps. Whoa! Neva, Neva, Neva! Oh, that's a bit of a drop there. I got a bit scared. I whacked it into gear one then without the clutch. I thought we were about to tip. We are. Neva, go to the left. Or the right, even. Right. Home straight. I don't think there's a road down here. I think we actually have to go off-roading here. Um, well, can we carry on following the road just in case? Although I think it loops around, which is not what we want. So we go off-roading? Do we go off-roading? Okay, that goes to the lumber mill. We need to go this way. So it looks like we are going off-road, and this will be the final bit of this video. Right, I think we're going to need some, uh, some interior view for this. As we f find our way through the woods. So it's a shame about the steering wheel. Like I said, hopefully that'll be in a future update because I love this Neva. It's got a lot of character. Alright, come on, this way. So we plough through all the uh, shrubs here. There she is, there's the flag. So it looks like we made the right choice by... Actually, no, there is a road that comes here. In fact, there's more than one road that comes here. So that wasn't needed whatsoever, that little journey, but... Oh, well, it's a shortcut. So I'm going to leave the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget, this is my first ever spin tires video, so I'm a little bit rusty. Hopefully, it'll get better over time. If you did enjoy, please tap my thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more for myself. I'm probably going to come back for episode number two, going to be honest. Um, I can't believe we went through the woods when there's literally one, two, three ways to get here. Where are we? Hang on, we just came from there. Okay, we had to go to the lumber mill and then around. Or, we could have... Where did we come from? We came that way. Ah, if I had carried on going f forward. Do you know what? I don't really know. Okay, when we got to this second bridge here, we could have gone right, and then that would have been a shorter way to get here. Okay, so we went the long way. That's fine. But well, thank you very much for joining me. If you did enjoy, once again, please tap the thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more for myself. I've been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.